Hey guys, welcome back to Beam Your Light. I'm so happy you guys are here. Um, and so I have a wonderful word to share with you guys today. Um, it's more of like a teaching type of word, but nonetheless, God's gonna orchestrate this word and curate it that it may just touch your hearts. And yeah, so I'm gonna pray and then we're gonna get right into this word. So. Father God, we thank you for this time. We thank you for who you are, for allowing us to come into your sovereignty through your grace and mercy, Father God. And I pray that you just touch us right now as anyone hearing this word or watching this video, that at the sound of my voice, that they will yield to you, Father God, and just submit unto you, Lord, in all your ways and everything you have for our lives, that we will continue to seek you and just continue to be vessels for your kingdom and choosing you every day. I pray that any distractions that come against this word, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every single person watching this video and hearing this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, um, okay guys, so I was, I've been hanging out with God and just, you know, um, taking care of a few things. And so God wanted me to come on here today. Actually, he's been wanting me to come on for I want to say like a few days now but I've just been so busy like just distractions and things if I'm being honest and so I really wanted to spend time with God before I even like came back on YouTube and so anyways um he was sh he was showing me relationships and the reason why he wants me to talk about this is because it's every day we wake up we're building relationships with people whether it's in the workplace you know we're connecting it's a human thing we're connecting all the time um and because of this god is just wanting us to understand and learn more of his fruits and apply his fruits to our life that we may be a kind of first fruits to share with others you know um i always i, I always tell my family i say when life deals you lemons you make lemonade we've all heard that before and i say when god gives you fruits you do something with it. It's the same analogy. It's just, it's all the same thing. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys what God put on my heart. And I wanted to make sure that he was speaking, right? Like, as always, obviously, like, and with this word, please take this word, any word you hear and pray over this word. And, and before you watch the video, ask God to confirm certain words to you that the word is for you. And so um he was showing me relationships i said okay god what do you what are you trying to say what is it that is on your heart about relationships and so the thing is he was talking about talking to me about not just in like an actual intimate relationship marriage he was talking to me about just actual friendships and um just that sort of thing whether you're at school whether you're in the workplace and so he was just showing that to me and um i said okay god what's on your heart and so I have three scriptures I want to share, but I want to go into it first about he's wanting us to understand that having relationships with other people is very important in what we say, in our speech, just how we respond, right, to certain things. And the thing is, is we're coming out of a sinful nature. We're coming out of worldly patterns, worldly behaviors, and we're stepping to the shoes of seeing and hearing through God. And the thing is, is that when I pray, I say, Lord, give me eyes like you and give me ears like you that I can be more patient and more understanding and more kind. And and I'm saying like life, in life, you get dealt with sometimes just situations or um, people or groups that it's not always that way. It's it's a challenge if I had to say it that way. And so if this word is for you, you'll, you'll know this word will penetrate in your spirit. And so he was just showing that you know, he wants us to have this foundation that is in him when it comes to building in other relationships, because this is where our ministries stem out from. This is where um, marriage, children, this is where um, counsel, wise counsel, friendship, whatever the case may be, all of this is stemming out from our true source, our foundation in Christ. And so I want to read 1 Corinthians 15, 13. I'm reading all of these in the NIV version. And it says, do not be misled bad company corrupt, corrupts good character. And so he was showing this to me. And another scripture that comes to my heart is um, cling to cling to what is good, hate what is evil. And 
we know hate is a powerful word, but the reason why God says hate what is evil is because it'll ensnare you if you mess with it, if you play with it, if you um, entertain it, if you accompany it, if you sleep next to it. He's saying hate what is evil because when you cling to what is good, more goodness comes, more goodness flows. That edifies your spirit. You get more of that, that you may share that with others. And so... um. He's saying bad company corrupts a good character for a reason because it could be anybody. It could be, you know, we have to remember it's not, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. These are principalities, powers, authorities in the dark parts of this world, the enemy's camp, right? He's, he, he roams uh, see, seeking who he may devour. And his camp is a camp of discouragement, confusion, doubt. And so when these things come, God has been teaching me in this season of my life how to maneuver, how to address, how to respond, how would he do it? And like I said, it's not always that case because we're always learning, we're always growing. And so there's some cases where you have to take the word of God and apply it in that moment and say, you know what? I could choose to let this person get to me. I could choose to let this this thing, this circumstance, these words, whatever it is that's trying to bring opposition into my life and hinder my spirit, I can let that get to me or I can respond with the loving truth of the Holy Spirit and say, you know what? God tells me I can hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Oftentimes when we're dealing in relationships, and this goes for every part of relationships, when we're dealing with people, it's not the person we're dealing with. It is a spirit that is being driven behind them. God has been showing this to me he's saying compassion sees the good in the person because it's not them it's not the fear they're being driven by and i know like a lot of us can pro i can say and i know many of you guys can relate to this it's not always easy things get under his skin um you know think the enemy tries to raise our flesh so that we can curse god by getting away from him or saying whatever we want against god that's what he does he takes our peace our joy he tries to take it away and then we have the word of God that overpowers, triumph, like uh, it's triumphant over what the enemy is doing because we can declare and decree and say, no, God tells me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You get what I'm saying? Like it's, it's literally powerful when you walk and rest and have faith in the word of God. And so I want to read another scripture here in Proverbs 14, 1 in NIV. It says, the wise woman builds her house. But with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. And this can go for men and women, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. A wise woman builds her home. She makes a home with the words that God instructs on her tongue. He says instructions on our tongue. God gives us wisdom to walk faith out. But a woman, a man, a son, a daughter, brother, whoever is tearing down with their words. That's exactly what's going to happen. Turmoil, discouragement doubt fear you give the enemy a foothold to come in and ensnare and so um luke 6 38 given it will be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you i love this scripture the scripture reminds me who i am in christ and my position like like i mentioned with with relationships <laughs> We're human. We have a human nature. We have a sinful nature. But in Christ, we are redeemed. We are righteous. We are holy without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So when you walk in faith towards the things of God, towards the word of God, he says his word is a lamp to our feet. When we walk in his true nature and his character and his integrity and his wisdom, we are a kind of first fruits that get to be fruitful in all we do. What our hands touch, he will bless, that it may glorify him. It will glorify him and may glorify or bless those around us. I feel like God's going somewhere with this. And so he was just showing me relationships. He goes, this goes in family dynamics. This goes with if you have brothers or sisters, parents. Um, it's not flesh and blood, y'all. It is the enemy using those who are weak in their flesh to rise up and try to come against your promises and try to come against the word of God. But the thing is, we don't have to defend ourselves. God tells us, vengeance is mine. He says, vengeance is mine. He repays. So when you see the very things that are happening to you, I feel like he's just coming here today. When those things 
those people, those situations are coming up and rising against you, give it to God and tell God, this is this battle that I'm facing. I've already won the victory in it. That is your faith. And the action of your faith is saying, I'm going to give this to God and I'm going to let God use me to bless my enemies. Because the hardest thing for us to do is to bless people that hurt us, is to forgive those that hurt us. So when you come from a position, this is spiritual maturity, you guys, this is spiritual food. This is solid meat right here. When you can walk in reverence to the Holy Spirit and say, you know what, Lord, they don't even know. I didn't know. I needed grace and mercy when when I was in this kind of situation. God, what he does is he honors you for what you're doing in secret. God honors you. He rewards you in public. And the thing is, is his honor is his glory of using you. And so I just wanted to come on here and share, you know, building up of relationships. Who's in your life right now? Who has God entrusted to you right now? The very things you have. And I'm not talking about just um, in, in relationship, relationships. I'm talking about also, like, do you have a house? Do you have an apartment? Do you have an animal? Do you have a pet? Like, literally, what is it you have? Look around you and know you're blessed. And take that and say, you know what, God? Thank you. Thank you for taking care of my every need. Thank you that I have a roof over my head. Thank you that I have people who love me. Thank you that I have people that check up on me. And that's the same measurements right here. Luke, Luke 6.38 says, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Meaning, how do you respond to things is the way it's going to be given to you. So I pray that this word encourages you guys. I wrote here, wisdom leads, wisdom leads to a character development for yourself. So when we put on the fruits of the Holy Spirit, God is equipping us in his character. You can't buy it in the world. You can't learn this in the world. You can learn through different avenues of God using his children. Um, but when you learn it for yourself, through God, through these kind of videos, through other prophetic channels, when you learn these things, it's building you up. It's edifying. God is edifying your spirit to receive more that you may give more unto others. Give back, right? He says it's better to, to give than to receive. Praise God. You guys, this word is very fruitful. Very, this word bless me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This word bless me. If this word blesses you, share this word and um, send it to somebody that is maybe going through a difficult time in a relationship, in, in a marriage, in um, their family. Send this to someone who needs to hear that God still loves them. He has never changed that. And um, he's working in their relationships. He's working in your relationships. He's working in my relationships. God, what he speaks goes. His word always comes to pass. Stand in faith and know he's faithful. He's a perfecter of our faith. So um, now that I'm here, I will share that I change. If you guys are part of, if you want to be a part of an online Bible study, you can join the fellowship group that I have down below in the link. We were doing Wednesdays, but we're going to move it to Thursdays for now. I'm not exactly sure what days we're going to keep it on, but Thursdays, every Thursday, we're going to have a Bible study through the Beam Your Light Fellowship Group. I'm still coaching. I'm still taking one-on-ones. Um, and also, too, there's new things God is doing. He's working. He's moving. And he's using all of us together to stand together in his, in his body as the body of Christ to build up more than many others are going to hear who he is. This is the the goal, the ultimate goal, the only goal. But we get to be fruitful in between. So there's going to be another workshop. Um, I have a few people who signed up already. Um, the 31st of this month. And um, it's a Saturday. And we're going to do that. And God's having a part two series. I'll release that when the time is due. I just wanted to throw that out there because God is working. And he's really bringing all these things together that it's blessing others. And so, um, yeah, for now, that's all I have. I won't say too much, but um, I'm praying for every single person. You know, I may not know you personally, but I, I, our prayers are very powerful and effective. And I know that God is speaking to his children and moving them during this time. A lot of us are coming with testimonies like there's no tomorrow. It's amazing to me how God is working. Um, and again, if you guys are, feel led to so do so, it's not an obligation. It's just something that the Holy Spirit is doing and he is definitely expanding 
uh, territories and kingdom, his kingdom and his children. And so um, I love y'all and I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless you.